Royals. What's going on? <laughs> she girl cute queen here. I'm actually about to head out. Um, you know, give me some quick gains in for the evening. Anyway, so have a backlog of something I was supposed to do for a minute, which is a performance review of the Adidas um, Ultra Boost ATR Oreo 2. For those who have been following me, you'll know I actually I had these. Um, I got these earlier this year and I had been planning to do a performance review on it for a minute but um, at least at this point I felt it out. I've worn it multiple times at this point and um, I feel like I can give my honest, experienced, wise opinion. Um, comfort wise, you know you have a prime mid upper and then you have the boost uh, mid and out so Comfort is definitely something that you get from this. The cushioning is fantastic. The responsiveness is 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 good. It's really good actually. The breathability for the prime knit uh, mesh. It definitely gives you that sock-like feel. You can definitely breathe in this shoe. That's one thing I like about it because if you're working out and you know what comes with working out. So anything that allows you to just get some air, especially in a shoe, um, you'll notice the difference. Comfortability is definitely a 9.5. Breathability is off the charts. So you definitely get an opportunity to just, you feel a breeze coming through them toes. <laughs> um, I'll give the breathability a 10 out of 10, um, hands down. In terms of aesthetics, all that good stuff when it comes to the, uh, the ATR Oreo 2. The design, the beauty, this to me is probably the flyest Ultra Boost, um, or one of the flyest Ultra Boosts to ever be designed. This is the second version of the Oreo, uh, where the original one had the the white midsole, and I feel like when they splashed that black mid or that black paint on the midsole, it just definitely gave it just more more style. You know what I mean? So even outside of the gym, if you were to wear this, I think that you could really pull off some really dope looks with this shoe um it's just it's, it's and it's practical too so you know just with it being black and then it has splashes of white um the color blocking is just every every component of the shoe with the color blocking is just it's just dope i don't think they missed at all with this so aesthetics definitely i'll give it a 10 out of 10. flexibility is definitely at the top of the list with this particular shoe Again, this prime knit mesh that allows for you to be able to just kind of get full motion out of this shoe. You know, whether you switch in direction, agility wise, whether it's, you know, um, power and speed, whatever the case might be, you definitely get a very good um, level of flexibility out of the shoe. You could be jumping, just whatever you're doing, uh, this shoe, the flexibility is, 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 I wouldn't say off the charts, but it's definitely up to par. <laughs> um, and it's better than some other shoes. So I'll give flexibility on this shoe a nine out of 10. Traction is next. And um, I mean, it's it's Continental Traction. Continental is a brand for what a lot of cars, um, tires are. I would say the traction is off the charts, man. I, I haven't had any instance where I felt like my shoe was slipping. Um, I feel like the sort of circular, or not circular, but kind of plus sign pods, and then the dips that go in. I think it's all positioned perfectly, just like a tire, like you get the the full traction. And I haven't really done a lot of outdoor training with these, but I imagine that if I were to, let's say, um, you know, do something in mud or rain or whatever the case might be, these are designed in a way where, you know, I wouldn't really have much of a, um, of an issue and then they have you probably can't see but it says torsion system in there too so um basically all the things that support speed agility and just being able to be stable in your movements so i give the traction a 10 out of 10. okay overall royals um i pretty much listed all of the things that are important to me which are aesthetics breathability flexibility um and traction so with that being said, I mean, pretty much my rating for this shoe is, is probably better than any of the shoes that I've 
done a performance review on so far. The shoe is dope. <laughs> it just, it looks dope and it performs real dope. So if you're thinking about, you know, trying this out, again, this is the Adidas Ultra Boost ATR Oreo 2. There are multiple ATR models. So if you don't like this colorway, which this colorway sold out pretty much when they released. I paid aftermarket for them, but I don't think I paid over retail for them. So I still actually won all in all. But anyway, um, the point I'm trying to make is definitely, I would say I would recommend you give these a shot if you're interested in trying an Adidas branded shoe to train in, just something that's comfortable, um, but also looks really nice. Uh, this is definitely one of those shoes. I like it. <laughs> and now that I've done my performance review, you know, I'm probably going to beat them up a little bit more because <laughs> I like to keep them at least a little bit, you know, in good in good shape before I do the, um, before I wear them too much. I like them to be at least still fairly clean and everything when, when I do these reviews. Now I can beat them up and not like I would beat them up anyway, but if I chose to, I could. <laughs> But yeah, let me know if you guys have any other questions or comments about these. Um, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments and um, let you know what you could experience from these. Uh, I, like I said, I definitely recommend you pick them up if you're interested in a shoe like these. And a couple quick notes. Um, now, even though the cushioning and the responsiveness are pretty decent, well, the cushioning is fantastic, but the responsiveness is good. Um, I still wouldn't consider this a runner's shoe. Uh, you can run in it, you can train in it, you can do pretty much everything but long distance running in it. I really wouldn't recommend doing a whole lot of running. If you're a runner, this is not your shoe. But if you're kind of a, you know, a quick cardio, three miles, um, hit training sort of runner, then yeah, go for it. Okay, so that's that. And then also, uh, lastly, the quick note I have is actually a bonus. So this entire upper, this mesh upper, it's actually 3M in the right lighting, okay? So if you're out at night with these, this, will ho this whole situation will just shine up just like a 3M would. So I may be able to take a picture so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, but that's a really cool thing for those who um, take walks at night, run at night, or any sort of thing where the lighting is dim. Yeah, you'll have, you'll have that 3M support from these. So that's actually a really cool feature that some shoes do not offer, um, especially more of a lifestyle, casual slash running shoe. And, and that's it, baby. This has been a performance review of the Adidas Ultra Boost ATR Oreo 2 from your girl Q to Queen. So I'm about to get ready to go to the gym, like I said. Now I'm not wearing these to the gym because they don't coordinate. I got to coordinate. <laughs> she girl cute <cutie> queen. <laughs> Royalty. <laughs>